Come and look at this fight. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. This week we've got a really cool project. We've got a bike for one of my favorite customers that's come back in. He's got some sick ideas. We're gonna make some changes to it. So let's get to work. Right, so we've got number 28 of 750 TFC models in the workshop. Now this is one of four Thornton hundreds that we've ever made. We can't make any more. They're absolutely not available. We've made some really cool modifications to this bike and it's one of my favorite ones that we did. So obviously we've got the full wide wheel kit on it. We've got our custom hubs, rental sprocket. We've got the gold chain. We kept the TFC seat on this one, but it has our old light mount on the seat mount too. So we'll be replacing that. And we have the carbon side panels with the split two-tone paint, which I think is really cool, but we're gonna be switching that up. We've got the arrow exhaust with the Thornton 100 details on and all the pie cut, forward controls, blacked out all of the throttle bodies. We've got the carbon radiator guard there, which I think is so sick, and the carbon mud guard too with handmade mud guard mounts. But the first thing the customer wants to change is the paint, so let's pull all that off and get it in the booth. Okay, so it's been a little bit of a while since I've painted anything, but I've got the panels and the tank in the booth there and I've prepped and primed them and they're ready to go. Me and the customer have chosen a really cool color. I think it's gonna look so sick. When you get out into the light, it's actually got a bit metallic in it, so it'll ping in the light, it's gonna look really cool. So I'm gonna chuck some overalls on now and get to the good bit and put some color on. Well, that dries off in there. I'm gonna head back to the workshop and start fitting up some of the other bits. Okay, so we keep these upstairs and they are our Thornton 100 engine plaques. Now, initially, as is TFC, we kept the TFC badges on it, but as the customer wants to change it up, he wants to put these on, so the battery's on now. Okay, so now that's badged up as a proper Thornton 100, I'm gonna head over to the warehouse and grab some other bits. Okay, so we're at my warehouse. Some of you guys might recognize this as my old workshop. Obviously we've moved on a long way since being in this tiny little space, but this is great now for storing all of the parts that we use for the bikes and also all of the parts we take off the bikes before they all get scooped up and collected and taken off elsewhere. So I'm just gonna grab a seat mount, head back over to the new unit and fill it up. Just been over to the warehouse, grabbed version two of our seat mount. Now we have version one on the bike at the moment. This one's way better because the lights are built in. You don't have to drill anything or be bolting anything together. And this one is actually 15 millimeters longer than this one too. So we have quite a tall rider. He's well over six foot. So we're gonna give him a bit more leg room and a bit more arm room too. So to do that, I need to get the tank off. Now this tank isn't in the paint booth as we're replacing it. We're putting on a large capacity tank three liters larger, so that one's gonna get binned off. So I'm gonna get rid of the tank and then get this new one on and plug it in and then move on to the next step.
So, customer has a beeline mount on this one and he's requested that we put our lovely new mount. And this is the one that I made last week. So click on the link in the description below. It'll take you to last week's video and show you how I made this. So I'm just gonna whip out this center nut on the stem there and put this new one in. Okay, so I've just removed the TFC badge here. Customers requested to have a custom one. So I'm gonna send you over to Alex and get one CAD designed up and then machined. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna pull the wheels out of this and then fit the tire decals. Okay, so it's time to fit the tire decals now. Shout out to Individual Graphics who sort us out with all of our custom Thornton 100 decals. Now, I've got to stick all of these onto the template and then once I've done that and prepped the tires, I'm gonna stick it all on. I think it's gonna look sweet. Okay, so it's been a couple of days now since I lacquered the paint on this just to give it a bit of time to harden off and dry. So I absolutely love this color. It looks so good when it's out in the sunlight. So what I need to do now is take the fuel pump out of this fuel tank, the old fuel tank, put it into the new one, and then get the fuel tank on the bike, put the decals on, and it'll be ready for a flat polish and ceramic coat, and the bike will be done. <laughs> Come and look at this bike. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
That's an unreal colour. Okay, so the bike is all done and dusted now. I think it looks so special with the tires, the paint, the seat moved back on our custom mount and all the little bits that we put in it like the Sky badge and the V-Line mount too. And we've also put on here the exhaust flanges as well, which you can buy and put on your very own bike. Click the link in the description below and you'll be able to buy them and fit them up yourself. So big smiles all around. Customers super happy with this one. Moving on to next week, we're going to be building a bike in 24 hours. So it's going to be a big challenge for me. It's going to be a big challenge for Stevie behind the camera as well. It's going to be an absolute marathon of a build and we're lining everything up to be able to just smash it out in one go. So that video is going to take a little bit longer to edit, but I promise you it's going to be worth the wait. So we'll see you soon.